Let's go live everywhere. If today is today is 16 January, year of our Lord 2024. And uh, well, we got rained out at the University of Houston. So today we were supposed to have our first day of class and uh, the personal finance course and every other course at the University of Houston got put on hold. So I had a few minutes and I wanted to kick off a new series. Uh, This series is the uh, Learn How to Invest in 2024. Much of this series will be for uh, my students in personal finance at the University of Houston, but I thought I would go ahead and share it uh, on Bayrock Financial. So I'm going to be doing a series. Let me just show you what's going on here. By the way, I'm Jim Munchback, uh, CEO and founder of Bayrock Financial. I think I forgot to mention that. I hope you can hear me okay. I am live on all of our channels and including Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, not Instagram, but everywhere else. Anyway, this is the, this is my wiki. So I started this, I use Obsidian, Obsidian, Obsidian to, uh, let me get that out of the way so you can see what I'm seeing. So this, I'm looking at my, uh, my iPad right now, I think you can see me there looking at my iPad. So that's okay. Uh, this is the wiki. Uh, this is the, this is where my research starts and it's just super easy to post things here in this wiki. I don't really share this. Uh, so if you grab a link here, I hope you don't mind, uh, not sharing it. This is like totally drafts, you know, think notes, thoughts, uh, random things, but this is where we come, uh, we start. This is where we start our research. So everything goes into this vault using Obsidian, which is a really cool tool. Uh, and so that's where this started, how to invest in 2024. It started here and now it's posted here on my Bayrock Financial. So, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a series, uh, and I created a face, not a Facebook, a YouTube playlist. So I will post the playlist as soon as I um, post this video. This video is the first video in the series. It's the first video in the playlist. Uh, So if you want to check it out, you can go to my YouTube channel, at Jim Munchback. Munchback has an H on the end. And you can find a playlist there. It's just been posted a few minutes ago. It's called How to Invest in 2024. So I hope you'll check it out and leave a comment. Let me know you're watching and tell me uh, what you want to learn about in 2024. So I'm going to show you my list of Uh, things on my bullet list or my list of things that I want to focus on. Um, Starting out, if you just go to this post, in fact, this is the link that's in the, that's in this video uh, and on the playlist. So how to invest in 2024. If you search that on our site at bayrockfinancial.com, you will find this post that I'm looking at right now that I'm showing you on my iPad And this post, here's a table of contents. It starts out with um, some indicators, some economic indicators that I uh, spent some time on. I will be developing this post over time so that you'll have links to each of the indicators, what they are, how they work, how to use them to uh, try to determine where, you know, what you want to do in your portfolio, in your investment portfolio. So I thought I'd start out with the economic indicators that are in my dashboard, uh, and that's what those are. One of them I just noticed is the uh, yield curve. So let me just show you the yield curve. The yield curve is, so inflation, gross domestic product, these are indicators. And one of the indicators I watch is the inverted yield curve. It's actually inverted now. It's not always inverted. It's usually not inverted. But you're seeing just an image, (coughs) excuse me, an image that I just made. If you go to if you search yield curve, you'll find this and you can put in any date and it will show you what the yields are on the treasuries uh, at different durations. So you can see that the the shorter duration uh, securities or 
uh, treasuries are paying a higher interest rate than the longer dated treasuries, which is an inverted yield curve, makes a big difference to um, when we talk about uh, anything in fixed income and so many things in the equity market as well. So we keep a close eye on that. Uh, and there's several others that are important uh, economic indicators. So I just listed those, and we'll be talking about those in the weeks ahead as we talk about how to invest in 2024. Another list of things, and I did put a little summary in, in here for each of these, but I'll be doing a post for each one and talking about how they impact the investment portfolio. Another fun one is the Fear and Greed Index. That one is um, one of my favorites. All of these are kind of my favorites. But uh, th the next thing we're going to talk about, and I think if I go here, how to invest in sectors. So today I wanted to just highlight, as I introduced the series, I wanted to highlight a couple of things that are top on the list. So the first one is just the post that I'm putting out today, how to invest in 2024. Uh, and then there's how to invest in sectors. This is uh, really what I've done is taken the sectors that I invest in when I, I use sector rotation in an actively managed investment portfolio. These are the holdings that are pretty much always part of the uh, port model portfolio. The What changes is over time uh, in different market conditions, each of these sectors or each of these asset classes or each of these ETFs, in fact, uh, will be either overweighted or underweighted. So at that point, at this point, I think I want to hit my music button to give a little music background. My heater just came on. I don't know if you noticed that, but it's Houston, Texas. We never use heaters in Houston, Texas, but it was 19 degrees this morning when I got up. It's cold in Houston. I hope you're staying warm. Hope nothing froze for you. Um, like I said, class got canceled today because of the cold. There's ice on everything this morning here in Friendswood. Uh, but anyway, back to the script. Uh, so one of the things, another thing I want to talk about in the weeks ahead is how to invest in Bitcoin. Um, Bitcoin is cryptocurrency in general and Bitcoin a little bit more specifically is uh, it's a cryptocurrency but it has recently had lots of uh, uh, lots of information on the web um, 11 ETFs got authorized to trade uh, Bitcoin which is big news and so I'm following those I may I will show you charts for each of the Bitcoin uh, ETFs that are now available to trade. And I'll try to help you learn as I'm learning how to invest in Bitcoin. So if you look at this list, you'll see that there's just a, a whole long list of how to invest in, you name the scenario, uh, how to invest in different uh, different sectors. So as you saw in the beginning, at the main, in the main post, how to invest in 2024, I had a list of all the sectors, ETFs included. And so I have a post, I'll be talking about each one, highlighting companies in each sector, each ETF. If you want to invest in certain companies, I'll show you how to invest in company stock. I prefer ETFs, exchange traded funds give me the ability to trade in a more diversified way, in a more tax efficient way. And I still have the option of using options, trading options in your account, my account, in clients' accounts. And so that's why I would recommend, as I teach you how to invest in 2024, I'll be talking about ETFs, exchange traded funds, because they're very important. So anyway, that's just kind of an overview, a heads up of what's coming, uh, how to invest in an inverted yield curve. Like I said, there's the yield curve and it is inverted. So let me see what else did I miss here. Um, I wanted to mention the YouTube channel, which I did, and I'm going to make this short, which I can't because I've already gone too long. How to invest in Bitcoin, that's coming. In fact, that's what prompted the whole series because I have a friend who's really into Bitcoin. I have so many clients, so many people that ask me, what do you think about Bitcoin, cryptocurrency? And my answer is 
has been and still is, if you're a client of Bayrock, we do not invest, we do not recommend uh, Bitcoin or crypto at this point. But I'm learning uh, about it, about crypto, about blockchain, about uh, Bitcoin in particular and other coins. But uh, it's not something that I would recommend right now. And I'll show you why when I get to that section, uh, why I don't think it makes sense to invest in Bitcoin right now for most investors. Obviously, if you're a do-it-yourself investor and you like Bitcoin, you've probably done well. I haven't. I haven't invested in Bitcoin. Uh, so that's that. Um, sectors and sector rotation is kind of the main focus for me. And I'll show you how I do that using the sectors and the asset classes that I really like and understand. So we'll go over that. Uh, let's see. Learn how to invest in 2024. And this is kind of going to be a main uh, focus for this series, which is just economic indicators. I've also got a list of technical indicators that I use, and I'll show you that when we get to technical analysis. So that's what's coming. I hope you'll consider checking it out. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to get notified. Hit the little bell, uh, and that will give you a notification whenever I post a new video on the channel. But you're looking for the playlist called how to invest in 2024 and I'm going to grab that playlist and I will put that into uh, let's see let me get this out of here if I can so I will <clears throat> pop that playlist into this post which is linked to the video that you're watching if you're on YouTube or Facebook or LinkedIn you should have a, a link to this post and so in this post uh, when I finish this video and post it to the playlist, uh, I will, you know, d pretty it up a little bit with an image and whatnot. And then I will paste the embed code in this post so that you can always come back to the same post. Or you can just go to the YouTube playlist. The other day, my mom watched a YouTube video I posted and I said, hey, mom, don't forget to like it. And she said, I'm not signed in, which means she doesn't have a YouTube account. So you can watch all the videos you want on YouTube. But if you want to like, comment, any of that, you have to obviously be, you know, you have to be signed up with YouTube. And that's what I'm hoping you do. And I hope you subscribe to the channel and hit the like button and hit the little bell to be notified. So looking forward to how to invest in 2024. I think that's it. I'm going to hit the finish button now. First, maybe I should turn off the music. I'm going to turn off the music first, and then I'm going to hit finish. So have a great day. Stay warm. I'll see you next time in the series, How to Invest in 2024.